a mess of gargantuan tentacles burst out, pulling your crew toward the toothy maw of a giant sand squid. What? Oh, no. Um, okay, we either fight, which is a level 14 fight, um, or we run back to the ship with a strength of six, and if we fail, we're going to lose three health. Well, this was a mistake. Oh, my goodness. We're definitely not fighting. We're running. I mean, we're definitely running. Wow. Strength six. Uh, and he can't compete. And we didn't put one of the... Oh, my goodness. Well, we might be in trouble here. Yeah, we don't we don't want to lose health, I don't think. Although we could we could spread it around a little bit. All right. No, we're going to That's two strength. So we'd have to do that's a 4-5 or a 6. And we could spin one to redraw it. Now, let's go. Let's go with 3. Okay, we're at 3 strength. And we drew a three. Six. Yes, we succeed. So we're running away. Run away. We do not take the three health. Turn to 43.1. The creature dives into the sea after your rowboat. Its clawed tentacles tear through flesh and wood, bursting from the water at every angle. With a scream like a hot flame, Audrey slams her paddle across the writhing tentacles over and over in every direction. The monster slips its hold from the rowboat and retreats into the sea. You barely escape. Oh my goodness. We, we still get minus three health and we gain one weekend. And then we return to the ship. Wow. One weekend. Minus two to skills. Give it to Audrey. <laughs> she's gonna, she's taking out all the, uh, all the negative effects right now. And I think we have to put these on the members that participated in the challenge. So let's go ahead. We'll give one and two like that. Well, that was pretty much a disaster. So, you know, that's good. That's good. Round four. I think we're going to go to sick bay. That is three command, one heal. Ooh, who do we heal? Yeah, let's let's heal Gregory. Before we take the one card, I think I want to put this rapid strike. Now, ah, the bold attempt maybe. Yeah, we're gonna do the bold attempt. Okay, we're gonna give that to Kanan. Okay, and now we'll draw one more. Oh, sorry, that costs two to put that down. And the new one, triage. Each time a fatigue is removed from this crew member, restore one health to another crew member. We don't know what we're getting ourselves into. I feel like I want to keep these command for the different abilities. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to leave that just like that. And this is tough, man. Things have not been going well. They were beat up by the rats scared off by some crazy squid monster. They don't feel ready to, to tackle this, but Sophie is determined. She's going to save the child. It's a big risk, but this is, this is who she is. So they're going in right now. Okay, before we go in, though, we need to draw an event card. It says, Sunken Ship. In the glittering turquoise shallows, you spot the skeletal remains of a ship. Sleek sharks circle the depths. So we're going to search it. Perception 5. If we fail, we do minus 2 health, but we gain a coin. I'd love not to take... Oh, this, is gonna... this is a hard one. We can't... we can't use Audrey. We'd have to give up a command. We don't want to do that. He, that would be his second. We don't want to do that. Oh, man. I think, I think, I don't think we can waste the fatigue on this. Nope. I don't think we're wasting the fatigue on this. We're just going to, we're just going to take the hit, I think. Unless we get lucky. It's a one. 
So I'm glad we didn't waste that. We could use this, but we're going to need this for our encounter. So we're just going to take the two damage and gain the coin. I think I'll have Marco take one. And I guess we'll give Gregory... No, we'll have... There. Okay, we'll spread it around a little bit. This is foolish. The whole crew thinks so, but here we go. We're exploring 54. Okay, it says, if keyword abysmal, we have abysmal. So we turn to 54.1. The sea rages in the island's rocky jaws. Boulders scatter the approach like gravestones. So A, we brave the rough seas in the, in the rowboat, or we try to navigate the manticore closer to the cavern. Savvy six, if we fail, we'll take two ship damage. I think that's better. I think we're gonna, our ship is fairly okay right now. I think we're gonna risk the ship damage here and do a savvy six. Let's, let's maybe go for this one. No, I don't want to put too much fatigue just for the ship damage. I think, I think we're going to have to just take the ship damage here if we don't get lucky. It was a four. Ah, okay. That's okay. We're, we're going to take the ship damage. So let's see where it goes. Three. That's sick bay. And five. Okay. That's nice. Spread it out. No, nothing's locked down. Okay. And now we're gonna turn to 161.6. Rogue waves throw the manticore towards the rocks, but you guide it through the rolling seas to a calmer cove where the crew lowers the rowboat. The ocean roar gives way to the echo of dripping water. A giant door carved into the cavern rock opens and a creature emerges. You cannot see his face, but two eyes glow above a robe, the color of blood in water. His dark face flickers like a candle made of shadow. So many visitors this month, he says in a deep, hollow voice. We're looking for a young man, you say. The creature chuckles, his face flashing with malice. Yes, he was taking my pearls, but he makes good conversation, and I'd bore without him. All the other souls here have lost my interest. Would you like to come in and see him? Inside the door... Ulam's or Ulam's son sits chained to the floor amid a pile of bones, his eyes pleading, face sunken and pale. He seems well, don't you think? The creature's face twists into a cruel smile. Why not leave him here? I could make a fair trade. The creature offers to pay you if you agree to leave Ulam's son there. Oh boy. So A, we refuse, in which case we have a combat. It says combat 16, 17, 18, and 19, level 16. Level 16, I think, is a deadly encounter. I don't think that we can, I don't think that we can do that. B, attempt to negotiate the release of the prisoner, or C, accept his offer. I think we have to attempt to negotiate, right? That has to be the, uh, the play here. So we're going to do 161.3. The shadow creature pauses. What did you have in mind? So A. Why starve your intellect with just one soul, you say? In the city, you could find many more. That would be a savvy of seven. And if we fail, we'd gain one low morale and go to 161. Or B. We can bring someone else to talk to you, you lie. Cunning eight. Uh, do we do Savvy 7 or Cunning 8? Well, look at this. We have 2 Cunning here. 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we can get to 5 Cunning right here. I think I like that, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Cunning. We would just need a 3, 4, 5, or 6. And we can use this if we fail. We could do that. Or if we did savvy, we have two savvy cards that we could play to give us plus one. So that might be the... Yeah, we would just need savvy seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I mean, I think... I think... Okay, we're going to go with savvy. One, two, three... 
four. That's five and six. And then we, okay. So even if we get a one, we have this four at the moment. And there's a five. Okay, so we got it. Excellent. Then I will visit a city. I've lived here for far too long, says the shadow creature. Chains broken. Ulam's son hobbles to his boat tied near the back of the cave. Was he ever planning to let you leave, you ask? Not with this, that's for certain. He smiles and hands you a stone that flickers with a dark fire. For my freedom. The shadow creature agrees to leave and visit a city. Ulam's son thanks you and returns to his boat. We did it. So we gained two coins, two XP, and we get adventure card 48. And there it is, the stone of fitness. So we can spend three command, remove a combat token from a crew member and use it again. Wow, cool. And that is one of the uh, totem. Very nice, very nice. What else do we get? We've completed quest four. And we gain quest seven and quest 103. So, Shadow Creature Unleashed. We convinced a creature of darkness to visit a nearby city. What have we done? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And Maneuver... We visited the shadow creature and found Ulam's son. So these two, you can see, unlike our other two that have this little symbol in the side here, which means they're somewhere we need to visit and, and that'll activate. These, we're just sort of getting these keywords that might pop up. So for instance, if we were to go back to the, to the village, I bet you this maneuver would pop up and probably one of these nearby cities is gonna get absolutely wrecked because <laughs> we unleashed the shadow creature. Oops. But hey, we saved his son. We got a totem. I think it was, I think it was worth it. Okay, so now we have to decide what are, what's the plan? We have a lot of fatigue kind of building up here. Gosh, a trip to the inn would be amazing. We could clear off so much. We still need one more coin to do that. Our ship has taken a little bit of a beating now. Yeah, we need we need some money. We need some money. We could explore 37. Or we could start heading towards the trading post and try to visit this port. We could go up and, you know, visit, see if his son made it back home, check up on him. It sucks as there's a storm there. We also have two more quests. We could just sort of try to head over towards those quests. Yeah, I think we're gonna travel over towards that temple. I think we're really interested in that temple. So for our second action, we're gonna do a travel. We're not gonna fatigue anybody. We got a three, so we're just moving one. We'll move right there. And there we go, we're done. Okay, what ship action do we wanna take? Might be nice to go to the deck. We do have these two we could clear off if we go to the quarter. And we could pop one of these. This triage is pretty good. Could give that to Mac. Yeah, okay. Let's just go, let's go here. We'll remove these two. We get three. We are gonna spend two. To give this to Mac. We get one card. Defend. Discard this equipped card to give another crew member two defense. I mean, yeah, I love that on Kasumi. Having her be super cunning, I think I love it. I think I love that. That's two more. Okay, I think that's that. Let's see what our event is. Giant catfish. A massive catfish slaps the side of the ship. Catch it. Strength five. Ooh, if we fail, that's two ship damage, but if we're gonna gain a meat. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see here. Strength five. We have one there. Two strength, two strength, yeah. That's two. Discard that for three. 
I mean, that's two, that's two. He doesn't have a fatigue. There. Three. Two, three. Four, five. Bingo. So we don't take the damage and we get a meat. Oh, we just need a vegetable and we can uh, make some spicy gumbo again. <laughs> so what actions are we going to take here? We have two potential places that we could explore. Curious about that cave right there. It'd be nice to do a little bit of exploring before we get over here. If we need one more coin in order to visit the inn, and we can just, like, clear so much of this stuff off. That would be fantastic. Yeah, okay. Let's explore. We're gonna explore that cave. Seafoam winds through a maze of mossy rocks on the cave floor. They brush the heels of a smiling skeleton which sits reclined against an old iron door, blood red with rust. You find a skeleton against an iron door at the back of a cave. We can either search the skeleton, which says unavailable if keyword pink. No, we're good with that. And we can open the door, requires the keyword iron, which we don't have, or we could leave. Well, search <laughs> searching the skeleton doesn't sound like a fabulous idea. I think we're gonna do it anyway. A bag falls slack from the skeleton's fingers. You expect to collect it easily, but a snake with a milk pink mouth hisses out and fastens to your hand. You whip it by the tail against the wet wall of the cave. A snake attacks you as you take the skeleton's bag. Minus one health, gain four coins and one venom. Haha. <laughs> oh boy. And gain quest 155 and return to the ship. Well, we found those coins. But, at what cost? Venom is minus one health at turn start. Minus one health at turn start. Okay. Quest 155. Oh, there we go. Snake attack. A snake attacked us as we took a bag of treasure from a skeleton. And there's that pink. Okay, let's go ahead and have Gregory heal that. Gonna heal that poison just right away. Yeah, I think we just I think we just travel, right, for our second action. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with this right now. We're gonna travel. We have seven money, and for four, we could clear a bunch of this off. We can fix our ship a little bit. Yeah, we're just gonna travel. Ooh, five. Could move two. No, just gonna come here. Okay, I think I wanna go to the deck. We only get two command tokens, but I wanna get some more goods before we go into port. So let's see what happens. Coin and a low morale. Mmm, that's not bad. Now let's keep going. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Now we can make some gumbo, but I don't think we're gonna need to at the moment. Let's see what this event is. Ooh, another sunken ship. In the glittering turquoise shallows, you spot the skeletal remains of a ship. Sleek shark, circle the depths. We want to search it. Perception five. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this one. I think we're just going to draw. Oh, four. Yeah, we're just going to fail. We do gain a coin. But we have to take two health hit. That is okay. We'll have the captain take it. First action, we'll just go into port, right? Now there's a 130 there. So I'm not, I think we explore or we can just go into port. I think those are maybe two separate things. Why don't we explore first and hit the 130 and then we can do the port action. Okay, 130. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. If keyword unleash, turn to 222. Remember that uh, shadow creature. 
that we sort of unleashed. Guess he decided uh, to come over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>